Hey guys, welcome back to Critical Flick. Today I'll be reviewing Tar. So Tar is a new psychological drama that stars Kate Blanchett as a world famous conductor and composer named Linda Tar. She is someone who is at the absolute pinnacle of her craft. She's someone who takes things very seriously. She's a perfectionist. She wants to be the best that she can be, and she tends to lose sight of the people that she damages along the way. Chet gives one of the best performances of the year so far, probably the best performance that I've ever seen from her. It might even be like a career-defining one. He's able to play a character that has such steely intensity and perfection to who she is that when things start to spiral out of control and she really supernovas into herself, it is just masterfully done it really pops off the screen it really compels you as the audience she does a great job of showing someone that is trying to hide her struggles and behind closed doors is not the perfect person the person that is really struggling with their past and is and is an imperfect character the movie really dives into the timely themes of do we have to separate the artist from the art as a constant thread throughout the film with both the main character and the people that she admires because without going into too many spoilers of this film because I definitely think it's something worth checking out she ends up falling into the situation that a lot of people in power have where they abuse their power they end up doing bad things because they're put in a position that they're able to do those things and they take advantage of that so I do think it really explores that idea and kind of the post me too movement of this world the cinematography is excellent there are a lot of really long shots that are just tracking around her either composing or giving lessons in her class and I think it adds a little bit of tension we kind of don't know where things are going she's ramping things up she speaks in a very heady and eloquent way and I do think that's something that some audience might not enjoy about it. This movie is very wordy. It's a lot of quippy and cerebral dialogue in this one, and it references a lot of, you know, classical music, a lot of references that people may not know. So for me, I, I personally liked it. And the movie also does have a lot of messages of humility and how we should understand other people's perspectives and that maybe the world doesn't you know, revolve around us. Our main character has to experience that firsthand. And it really is a touching kind of subplot in the story with her and her neighbor in the apartment. Her neighbor is a woman who has an elderly mother and she's struggling to take care of her. And you see throughout the film that you hear this kind of sound and it ends up playing out that something that she thinks is annoying and insignificant is actually a very important event in someone else's life. And she sees kind of she's more important. Her lessons and her practice and her rehearsal is more important than even anyone's life, essentially. I think the ending of the film does a great job of encapsulating that, bringing her down to earth with other people, kind of becoming the thing that she makes fun of in the beginning of the film. The one place I will say that this movie for me falls just a little bit short is with its pacing and with its editing to a degree. It is two and a half hours long and it feels every bit of it and it feels a little bit jumbled because we have these constant cuts and change in time without any real explanation. We're jumping back and forth from different locations, different conversations, different people without it really having a strong narrative thread. It's not impossible to follow and it's not completely chopped up to any degree, but to a film that could have been almost a masterpiece if it would have been tightened up just a little bit, I don't think it needed to be two and a half hours long. I think if you would have tightened it up to a tight two hours and kind of cut back on some of this really intense dialogue, I think it could have been an even better film. But that is just a minor quarrel in a film that I think is excellently acted, excellently shot, and pretty well directed. So if I were to rate Tar, I would give it an 8.5 out of 10. I think it's one of the best performances of the year, and I think it's a movie that's definitely worth checking out, if only for its messages and themes. So if you end up checking out Tar, let me know what you thought about it. I'm interested to see how people feel about it. It feels like something that audiences could absolutely hate. Maybe if you're more of a critic per se, someone who's looking in for these kind of films, like a more, I'm not want to say pretentious, but a movie like this, maybe general audiences won't love it. So I'm really interested to see what people think about it. So if you check it out, let me know what you thought about it. Leave it in the comments down below and see you guys next time.